rising majestically against the St. Louis skyline. The Gateway Arch is not just a feat of engineering, it's a symbol of American pioneering spirit. The concept of this towering monument began as a part of the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, a tribute to the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, and the nation's westward expansion under his leadership. The year was 1947, when a call for an architectural competition echoed across the globe. Among the many entries, one stood out, a sleek stainless steel design proposed by Finnish-American architect Eero Saarinen. His vision was bold and modern, a perfect embodiment of the progressive spirit that defined America's journey to the West. Saarinen's design was not just an architectural marvel, it was a promise of a new era. The construction of the Gateway Arch was a groundbreaking engineering feat full of challenges and innovative solutions. The year was 1963. The plan was to erect a 630-foot monument that would not just stand the test of time, but also withstand the forces of nature. The Gateway Arch was no ordinary structure. Its unique catenary curve, the shape a free-hanging chain takes when held at both ends, required precise mathematical calculations and meticulous execution. Eero Serenin's sleek stainless steel design was as audacious as it was innovative. The construction process was just as groundbreaking. The monument was assembled piece by piece, with each segment hoisted into place by a complex system of cranes and derricks. The two legs of the arch were built simultaneously, a daring feat considering they had to meet perfectly at the top, 630 feet above the ground. This wasn't just about building an icon, it was about redefining what was possible in architecture and engineering. Each phase of the construction was a delicate balance of precision and ingenuity. The margin for error, less than a 64th of an inch. Despite its sturdy appearance, the gateway arch is designed to sway, to dance with the wind, if you will. Yes, this towering monument can move up to 18 inches side to side in strong winds. Visitors at the top can sometimes feel this movement. A gentle reminder that they are in a living, breathing piece of architecture. The arch needed to be strong, but it also needed to be flexible. This balance is what allows it to withstand not just the everyday winds, but also the extreme weather conditions that can whip up along the Mississippi River. This blend of strength and flexibility in the design is a true testament to the advanced engineering of its time. And so the Gateway Arch stands today not just as a monument to the westward expansion, but also to the spirit of innovation that defined mid-20th century America. Rising elegantly over the St. Louis waterfront, it has breathed life into the city's heart, transforming it into a vibrant hub of activity and progress. The arch's impact extends beyond mere aesthetics, having a profound influence on American architectural history. Its sleek stainless steel form is a bold expression of modernity that continues to inspire architects and engineers today. But perhaps the arch's most profound legacy is its symbolism. It encapsulates the spirit of unity and progress, the same spirit that fueled America's westward expansion. As we look upon its gleaming surface, we are reminded of our shared history and collective ambition.